guys, welcome to the new segment on my channel where I share the story behind songs that I've written and I'm going to be going through my whole album Future Forever song by song talking about how I made it and what it's about. So we're going to start with the song Keeper. So Keeper's the first song on the album but actually one of the last songs I wrote for the project. I think when you're writing an album you usually start by just writing any songs that you can write and then it's not until later in the process that you start to listen to it as a complete whole and figure out what it's missing and what's going to tie everything together. And so this song came about because I was listening to all the songs and I thought, I need an intro, like a real album intro. I love albums that have good intros. It's like the music that sets the scene and you get ready for the journey. You know like Star Wars, right? When you hear that opening theme, you're like, this is Star Wars. I'm sitting in, I'm ready for this journey. I wanted like a intro song like that. I was actually watching a music festival online and I saw an artist come on stage and their intro had like a musical piece and it started on the four, like the four chord. So like if you're playing in the key of C, that would be the F, right? It has this sense of like, we're going somewhere. And so I kind of borrowed that idea and I was like, I want an intro piece and it's gonna start on the four. So I wrote most of it just on the piano, just the little da na 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 And then I started to add in strings and layers from there, just using like, my keyboard to play in string lines and download little samples of trills and stuff like that and pretty quickly I was like this is gonna be epic <laughs> And for a while it just stayed like that, this kind of piano and orchestral intro. And then one day I came back to it and I was throwing in different samples, figuring out where to take it. And I found this loop that had like a cool rhythmic element to it. And suddenly I was like, what if we went with a 4-4 kick beat? Like after all this orchestral build, it just switches into electronic mode, kind of similar to some of the songs from my beat tape 24, if you've heard that. So I love doing something unexpected, like building in one genre, and then being like, actually we're going over here. And so that was the song for a while, the intro that leads into this full full beat over this kind of rhythmic loop thing. It just so happened at the time that my friend Max Gaver, who's from the band Oli, he reached out about collaborating on something and one of my hopes for this album was to involve a lot of different producers because I love, as a songwriter and an artist, working with other producers, even though I produce myself, I think everyone else brings a different flavour to it, and I wanted this album to sound diverse and have a lot of different styles, and so I wanted to involve different producers, and I love all these songs so much and all the stuff that Max does, so I kind of had to say yes. But at the time, I was travelling, I wasn't with my computer and able to like write new things, so I just sent him this demo and I was like, have a listen to this intro see if it sparks any ideas and within a few hours he'd sent me some ideas. I was actually visiting my brother in America at the time and he has this really nice piano in the living room and so I was sat on the piano trying to come up with different melodies and that's where I came up with uh, this melody line. And so the process was basically me sending a Dropbox demo to Max, he would send me some produced ideas, I would send him little melodies and things from the piano, and we just kind of went back and forth for a while with that process. I remember Max sending me one version where it had this new section where the chords change, and it was just this instrumental section, but I loved it, and I loved the energy, I loved the builds, and I would just listen to it on repeat in the car and sing melodies along with it. For me, the last piece of the puzzle is usually the lyrics. Once I've got the melody down, I'm just trying to figure out the best lyrics to fit in there to convey the theme and trying to find the best way to phrase things. But this one kind of seemed to flow pretty easily, so let's take a look at the lyrics. I lift my eyes up. I look to the one my help comes from. This is from Psalm 121, so I knew it was going to be the opening song at this point, and this is one of my favorite ways to open a worship session or almost any time spent with God because I want to see it as a way of like lifting my eyes like as an artist I feel things pretty deeply and sometimes that means I feel the lows as well as the highs and usually in those times I get very inward looking and very introspective but I find that usually the way out of those darker times and those low feelings is not found within 
myself. It's found in lifting my eyes and looking at God and who he is. It's something I try and do consciously when I come to worship. I am lifting the eyes of my heart or my spirit and choosing to give my attention and my focus to God in that moment. So that's why I wanted to start the album with that line. The maker of heaven, the one shining brighter than the sun. Then we have some titles of Jesus, the maker of heaven, Psalm 121, and then the one shining brighter than the sun, which is from Revelation 1:16. It talks about Jesus' face shining like the sun in all of its strength. And then later in Revelation 22, it says we won't even need the light of the sun or a lamp because the Lord himself will be the light. He's on the throne, and one day we'll see the kingdom come. This is about the lordship of God and really the gospel in a nutshell is the declaration that Jesus is king and he has a real kingdom. While we get glimpses of it right now and Jesus himself said like the kingdom is at hand, right? We also know that the fullness of it, when we see everything that was promised and Jesus actually ruling and reigning on the earth is still to come. So now and forever, I'm gonna lift my thankful song. In essence, this is what worship is to me. Like worship is a response to God. We see something of his glory and his splendor and his beauty and we respond in some way and we lift our song to him. It doesn't have to be a song, of course, but this is a song, so I'm singing about singing. <laughs> you are the one who holds my soul. You are the one who holds it all. Perfectly in control. You're holding my heart and you'll never let go. This is where it goes from the lofty, high concepts to personal ideas, and I find so much peace and comfort in knowing that the one who holds the universe together and the stars in his hand is the one who's also holding on to my heart and that he's never letting go and that's where true peace is found i think and this is why the song is called keeper it's about the quiet confidence and trust that we can have in a faithful god who holds us and has promised to never let us go so even in all of the ups and downs of life when we feel close and when we feel far away it's still all happening right there in the palm of his hand and he keeps us there the whole time this is like a little anglican shout out <laughs> i went to a church of england school which was very anglican and traditional and we used to read out all these prayers from like a laminated sheet and at the time i kind of thought it was a little boring to be honest and formulaic to read these things out um but i've since come to appreciate those words even more and i guess they must have sunk in somewhere because as i was writing this melody these words just came to mind and seemed to fit. And so it's from something called the Collect of Purity. And it says, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts. I just love the idea that we can be completely open before God and that we don't need to hide anything because we can't hide anything anyway. And he knows every thought in our mind and every desire of our heart. And we can just be open before him. I love how beautiful it is that we are known completely and can be open completely to a God who is our keeper and our hope and our strength. The one who isn't going to let us go, even though he knows everything, even though he knows all those messed up thoughts that you have that you don't want anyone else to know about or might feel ashamed of ever even admitting, he already knows all that and he's still holding on to us. And so that's such a source of comfort and strength for me and that's what I wanted to convey in this song as well as these lofty ideas this intimate idea of like he's holding my heart and will never let go so i hope you enjoyed hearing the song story i'm going to be doing this for all the songs on the album so uh if you want to catch those and you're not subscribed already to this channel cheeky plug uh you can hit subscribe right now apparently according to my analytics about 50 percent of people that watch this channel aren't subscribed they just watch a video and go so if you want to like keep up with this series um you might want to subscribe if not that's fine you know we can still be friends 
Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one, guys, and I will see you soon.